So I know that the town and village have been struggling for years on this question of unification. Mm -hmm. um, and there never there were votes, and the votes never really went anywhere. But now it's happening, and they're so. Tell me about how we got to this <coughs> process of creating efficiencies and unification without actually voting. Well, this this is not governance. This is only delivery of services. Okay. Um, the governance piece, the only piece that we're looking at there is with this um, Thoughtful Growth in Action program, which is looking at uh, how we do uh, development planning. Perhaps we can do that together. But the governance piece is not uh, part of this. It's really looking at the services that both communities do. And we've been doing public work separately. And we said, I think if we uh, combine our efforts uh, and consolidate the public works, we can deliver services in a hopefully more sustainable and uh, more efficient way. So it's not about, uh, about governance. The methodology used is um, interlocal agreements um, by and between the town and the village. It started with the contract for the manager about and then it went ago. into the um, uh, contract for the highway departments and, and public works administration. Um, the central question that was needed to be asked and answered is can one manager um, serve in this environment efficiently and what might need to be done to make that happen and so how we're doing it is we're starting from the bottom up rather than the top down um, we're going to have answered all the questions well how will it work and what will it be and who's going to be where and who's going to lose their job well no one's losing their job Everything is going to be uh, evaluated pretty thoroughly before any governance questions are asked and answered. And again, we're, we will have reduced the duplication. Um, it just so happens that the schools now are on the same path in Essex. And, you know, we've had a little bit of a, a, a shaking of, you know, the future picture of the community with IBM uh, giving their plant to global foundries, basically, through a, a sale of sorts. So we would like to preserve the quality of our community, the quality of the services received by the residents of the community. We're continuing reinvesting in ourselves because if we don't do that, nobody else will. And like I said before, I mean, we're, we're going to transmit uh, to the next generation the place uh, in better shape than we found it. And this is how we're going to be able to do it.